a very good evening all of you uh, in this session we will be seeing about water resources information of india another geo portal of uh, national remote sensing center which is a segment of indian space research organization so uh, the india varis uh, portal is used to search acts visualize understand and analyze the water resources information of our country outline of this session would be like this background how to reach this particular portal the uh, metadata module that is information discovery module geo visualization and the various data sets available in this portal sub information system dynamic report generation and maps download option can be seen during this session touching upon the background uh, this particular geo portal is a deliverable is an outcome under the project generation of database and implementation of web enabled water resources information of india uh, the mou of this project was signed during uh, december 2008 this uh, under this c uh, nrc has worked with cwc and uh, realized this particular geo portal this portal com comprises of comprehensive authoritative consistent information of our water resources it will help us in search access visualize understand and analyze the portal uh, we can uh, thus helping in integration water resources management how to reach this portal using uh, uh, go by going to www.nrsc.gov.in from there picking up india uh, waris under spatial services or we can directly reach this portal using www.india hyphen wris.nrsc.gov.in a little bit background more uh, the responsibilities were like this nrsc has got the responsibility to realize the data center and host this particular portal and huge data providers including cwc officers and state and central government departments have provided a, uh, provided the relevant water resources data sets which was available in the archive for a uh, few decades yeah so uh, using all this information and huge efforts of all these departments currently india bris uh, commonly uh, called as india waris has 12 major information system with 35 sub information system 95 spatial layers and 5 to 100 years of some of the data sets there are two different versions public version and cwc's version for in public version a public version can be reached using www.india-wris.nrsc.gov.in which is available for the public to visualize analyze and download the data sets the cwc version is available in the uh, data center available with cwc which is a restricted data sets only available for central water commission officers uh, coming to the major features of this particular portal we have got uh, information discovery we all know that metadata is very essential for any uh, uh, collection of data so uh, the important module here is info discovery module through which you can see the various data sets available in india varis portal uh, geo visualization sub info system report generations water resources planning and management the heart module of this particular portal input data builder a strong data builder is available for the cwc officers to upload the data set into this portal and a set of uh, success stories has been written because this portal is uh, there for a quite uh, some amount of time period since 2008 lot of success stories are available you can also log in to this particular system and share your stories if any uh, yeah touching upon the first important module that is information discovery module here there are three options you can discover the data sets or you can search on discover the data data sets based on the administrative unit options based on the hydrological unit options based on the constituency uh, unit option so under administrative option you can go into this portal up to district level india var is uh, rest uh, has the data sets in 1 is to 50000 scale 
uh, which uh, our visionaries felt that for water resources planning and management, these data sets are very essential. So these data sets are integrated into this portal. Hi, uh, so uh, in administrative unit, you will be having up to district level hydrological units. You can go up to sub basin level and constituencies, parliamentary and parliament and assembly constituencies are available. These all metadata which have been searched and discovered can be also downloaded using XML or PDF options. In any module, you can find this I button very handy um, uh, to get some general information um, um, which is available. Basically, the questions which are asked during various demonstrations has been valued and uh, during the review mechanisms, this particular requirement and a process a requirement was uh, put up and this particular feature is implemented. So using this particular I button in any information, any sub information system, we can get first hand information of the data sets and the feature available in this particular portal. So this is the format in which the metadata is presented. We start with the identification detail, spatial information means the coverage for this uh, particular data set which have been searched and discovered. And we also have some accuracy related information, then distribution information, etc. We can see here uh, the um, uh, scale of this particular data mentioned as 1 is to 50,000 and that survey year which is uh, uh, survey year mapping year. Uh, digitizing here, etc., are also present in the me metadata. Would like to go through this particular. So, uh, from yeah. This is the home, pages, the home page of India Worries Portal. In the left panel, we have got all these options available, uh, WRIS Info Discovery. Once we have chosen this option, we will be provided with this particular uh, screen where we can uh, select the state, for example, Uttar, uh, Uttarakhand. And let me go to Dehradun district. And we can search. You can see here the various categories available for us starting from canal information system, infrastructure, admin, etc. Suppose if I am interested in canal information system and the I will be presented with various layers here for me to choose. Let me choose I, AIBP canal. Uh, we can see the metadata of this particular AIBP canal data set. So we have the identification information, spatial information and attributes and what uh, all attributes are available in this particular data set and whether it is restricted or uh, it can be distributed and the data quality aspects. We can see here the mapping here uh, that is the data is mapped using the satellite imagery acquired during 2010 and has been digitized during the year 2010. So uh, in this manner, we can also, um, uh, we can see the metadata of various data sets available in this portal. We can also search a particular keyword, for example, river. And we can see what all data sets are available in this particular portal. Apart from that, there are a set of information systems categories presented here. We can choose a particular category and see uh, that eight layers are available under administrative info system and these are the various uh, various data sets. So uh, we can uh, download this PDF using this particular option and if uh, somebody is interested in XML document so that it can be integrated into your system uh, uh, easily, we can go and go forward and download this XML documents. So this is how the metadata can be uh, uh, understood. There is also one uh, consolidated metadata available here. Uh, for example, if we choose waterlogged uh, layer, we can again come to this particular system to understand in detail the various uh, metadata of a particular data set. Now coming to coming back to our uh, presentation.
Next important module is geo visualization module. We have been saying that there are around 95 layers uh, available uh, which are related to water available in this particular portal. So, all these data sets are arranged and organized and made visible at different scales of visualization based on the relevance at that particular scale. For example, here we can see there, there are uh, DEM digital elevation models, there are watershed area, river, surface water body, administrative layers, infrastructure layers available uh, for us to visualize and here there are 10 level of information available. This is one example to show the sub basins of our country, Ganga basin and other basins are being visualized here. Uh, so, the watershed uh, area option in the left side expands like this. Based on the uh, scale of visualization, the appropriate layers will be available for uh, visualization. Here we are seeing basin is enabled, remaining or disabled at this particular scale. This is another example where sub basins are being overlaid. Uh, little further zoom up, uh, zoom in. You are, we are able to visualize the sub basins of our country. Uh, this is another screen showing the tourism layer, the beach, the lakes, the uh, wildlife sanctuaries, etc. related to water tourism. Water tourism is also one of the important sector considering the development of our country. So, uh, the water tourism layer is being available for visualization here. Coming to some of the important tools, to identify any feature, we can choose the identify option and we can see, for example, the reservoirs, the command areas, any uh, feature at the particular location where we have tried to identify will be put together in a consolidated framework. It is available for uh, uh, understanding. This is one example where we have overlaid the land use land cover map over the command area map and try to swipe over the layer and visualize the things beneath. Uh, another tool to mention is spotlight tool where based on the radius selected here we can uh, visualize uh, the feature behind that. Uh, this is uh, one of the example of identify where a particular layer surface water body is selected and the reservoir which is available for visualization and the area under that reservoir is computed and shown here. So, we have seen a set of display tools which are very essential for any geo portal uh, to understand the data sets and then uh, the, the, we also have a set of query tools. For example, this screen shows the number of shows the dams which are within 100 kilometers buffer area of the selected location. We can see here all the 10 dams being listed and the selected um, Terry dam is being visualized here with the details. Uh, this is another query example where we are trying to display the hydro observation sites in Uttarakhand. Apart from this uh, visualization and query tools, we also have a set of tools for measurement bookmarking, mailing, etc. This is one important and interesting tool where the surface terrain can be under the surface profile can be uh, understood and studied. So, we have seen a quite amount of interesting tools in both display, query and uh, further analysis to demonstrate those tools. So, this is the geo visualization page. Yeah. Geo visualization page where all the 95 data sets are organized them, watershed, river, surface water body, etc. So, uh, let me expand this uh, surface water body and let me expand this watershed atlas. And we have, we have also talked about the water. 
land use land cover maps and we also have seen the water tourism layers. Putting on the water tourism uh, layer and bit zooming. Okay, so based on the zoom levels and the scale of visualization we can see the additional information which are coming up we started with basin and we have seen now sub basins which are depicted in this pink color and the major rivers reservoirs etc similarly we have also seen the tools uh, a set of navigation tools to mention zoom in zoom out rubber zoom uh, uh, go to that is search options then we have also got a certain display options where identify, uh, identify is one of the important feature where we can click on a particular feature and identify the details. Yeah, we are seeing it's uh, this particular uh, Water tourism uh, site is in Uttarakhand state which is falling in Ganga Basin. Uh, the sub basin is uh, above uh, Ram Ganga confluence and a set of other information is available for us. The swipe tool can be applied on uh, any uh, layer of interest. For example, here we say uh, for uh, appreciating this, I would like to take a raster layer. So choosing the land use land cover and trying to swipe this. So we are seeing uh, the forest regions and the corresponding legends can always be visualized using this particular option. Apart from the swipe tool, we also have seen uh, the spotlight tool where the radius can be adjusted and the feature behind this can be seen. Then we come to these uh, query tools search by proximity search by proximity we can uh, specify the distance say suppose 100 kilometers show me the dams at this particular location within a 100 kilometer buffer zone so we are getting a list of the dams as i was showing in that example suppose i choose terry dam we can see the uh, river code is river uh, it's a dam on bagiradi river so these are some of the query examples we can also uh, choose a particular layer for example if i say i would like to see all the surface uh, water body or hydrological observation sites I would like to see the various hydrological observation sites say I would like to see where this AP gut is So the query output result, query result is being displayed here. So in this manner, various queries can be built 
over the existing data sets available in this portal and it can be analyzed. And I would also like to show one particular uh, tool, surface profile tool, using which we can study the terrain pattern. So the start drawing option is available for us to draw a line over the terrain for which we are interested in. So the pattern, the elevation details are constructed and the graph is available for us. We can see on the left side the map and the respective details being shown in this graph. graph. Uh, this is uh, at height 454. So the elevation details can be seen here. This particular information can be saved and imported. Draw and measure tool. Any segments can be drawn and the length can be computed. Similarly, area can also be calculated for any polygons. So these are some of the tools available with uh, India Worries portal. Now coming back to the presentation. There are various sub-information system uh, based on the user level. Suppose uh, the users are coming for a generic purpose to India Worries portal. They can always uh, visit geo visualization modules where they can visualize and analyze the various data sets available and use all this set of uh, uh, tools. If uh, the user is advanced user looking for a specific information, then uh, the user can visit the respective uh, sub-information system. Additional information is also available when we choose the option sub-information system. This is uh, one uh, example of administrative information system where a particular uh, district can be selected and the information available for the disk can be visualized. So uh, here we have uh, the village census uh, uh, 2011 information integrated. So that uh, because when we say about water resources management, uh, planning and development, the socioeconomic uh, data is also very essential. The demographic data is also very essential. So all these data sets are integrated uh, with the uh, with the, with this portal this is another screenshot showing a district and uh, uh, showing constituencies and the respective information available in this portal so let us go to this uh, uh, sub information system Uh, we have chosen at any part, point of time any sub information system can be selected using this particular option where we have the uh, all the sub information system listed starting from base data, surface water body, ground water etc. If you are interested in administrative sub information system we have to expand base data administrative information system. I have uh, reached this option using this particular navigation mechanism. Now uh, we have the various uh, boundaries starting from international boundary up to the towns depicted here which are available as per the different zoom levels. I suppose I say that I am interested in district boundary 2011. We can see the states of our country and the various districts. Let us choose any state. And any district, Verbal. And we can see here, 
the detail. There are two options 2001 and 2011. Both versions of the data sets are available. I was mentioning about this I feature. Uh, here we can get some information like the number of districts as per the earlier version and the number of districts as per the newer version of the uh, district boundaries. So we are seeing here. Similarly, uh, we can also uh, choose the constituencies and get some of the detail by using this particular option. If somebody is interested in the village details, then uh, we can choose get village details. The village boundary will be overlaid and we can identify a particular village. So we are seeing here the census 2011 uh, uh, socio-economic data uh, the being integrated here. Uh, illiterate persons of this particular uh, village 122 and all other information under Garval uh, district uh, Satpuli Mali village is being depicted here. This is all about administrative information system. In this fashion, we have got a quite number of sub, uh, sub information system, each one getting its own relevance. Going back to the presentation, uh, next important uh, sub information system which I would like to highlight is surface water body information. The water bodies available for the country which has been mapped in 1 is to 50,000 scale is available for visualization and query. So we can see here the various water bodies of uh, uh, Uttarakhand Garhwal district being depicted. The type of the water body. is also available. Let us go to this for better appreciation. Let us go back to the portal. Surface uh, water body information system. So we are he seeing here water body information uh, system as well as uh, Infosys as well as wetland Infosys available. Uh, let us choose water body. And then uh, let us go straight wise Uttarakhand, Dehradun district. We say we are interested to see all the water bodies available in this particular district. It's a dynamic query. Even the query can be based on the sizes. Uh, for example, up on the water bodies up to 0.5 hectare can be uh, queried and uh, uh, overlaid. Yeah, now the result of the query is available. The lakes and ponds uh, of the of Dehradun district are being listed here and the uh, area is also uh, listed. Apart from that, the nearest settlement is also listed. For example, if we are interested to see uh, one of the lakes, If we are interested to see Ram Ganga Reservoir, we can choose this and we can see that uh, it's occupying 65113 1.3 hectare area and it is a Ram Ganga Reservoir which is available in Uttarakhand uh, district. The nearer, nearest settlement is Uttarkashi. Similarly, we can also see wetland uh, information. Uh, uh, for example, we can choose a particular state. 
Kerala has got a lot of information related to wetlands. So I would like to choose uh, Kerala Alapura district. Here also in the same lines information is organized. We have up to uh, uh, based on the size we have uh, categorized. Yeah, the result of the query is available here. The wetland uh, type and the name if it is available, the description uh, and the uh, vegetation and the size of the uh, um, area of the wetland is all available here. So in this manner, you can see here a homogeneous pattern adopted for any subinfo system that is we overlay and we have got an identified tool available for any uh, wetlands to click and view and, uh, and similarly we have a set of tabular information available on the right, right side. So it's a very uh, interesting homogeneous pattern design. So having seen this uh, surface water body information, let us go to the uh, next module. Groundwater information system. Uh, for uh, visualization, analysis, query, etc., we don't write registration, but for the groundwater information maps to prospects maps to be downloaded, we need to register uh, and uh, uh, we have to log in and then we, we will be able to download the groundwater prospects maps which we are interested in. Groundwater prospect maps uh, um, generated under Rajiv Gandhi drinking water mission has a huge uh, potential in uh, identifying the locations where the water wells can be drilled and it has proved to be a huge success factor. So these maps which are uh, which can be used uh, to identify the locations where the wells can be drilled or uh, uh, available in the PDF format which can be uh, downloaded by the authorized users. So I would like to show this download process. Closing all the other uh, modules which have been which we have completed the demonstration for. So um, proceed towards the sub information system and you can choose the groundwater sub information system. Under that we have got aquifers, groundwater levels, groundwater resources, groundwater prospects. So I would I am interested right now to show the groundwater prospects maps download. We can see here that uh, it is 1 is to 50,000 scale maps which are created under Rajiv Gandhi Drinking Water Mission by National Remote Sensing Center in collaboration with several partner institutions. Thanks to all of their efforts. We can uh, choose and try to download the drinking water mission maps. Green color indicates the maps availability. The, the other one indicates that map is not available in this particular region. So it says select a grid to view the Rajiv Gandhi drink, National Drinking Water uh, uh, Mission maps. So I have selected a grid. Now dynamically the PDF will be generated, um, will be downloaded and made available for you. This needs registration and login. I have already logged in. It's getting downloaded. Meanwhile, I would like to show the map which has been already downloaded and kept for the ready reference.
hope we are we should able to see the uh, drinking water mission maps for uh, uh, topo sheet number 53105 and the corresponding legends so in this manner the users can register and download uh, select a particular uh, topo sheet and try to download the maps next let us take this hydro meteorology information sub, uh, system Uh, a set of flood forecasting system floor, uh, flood forecasting uh, observatory sites are um, uh, shown in this particular sub information system the historical data is also available in this particular module closing this one on the slide sub info system choosing the hydromet sub info system and flood forecasting stations okay uh, so flood forecasting stations indicates the forecast or inflow level with its time of occurrence uh, we have got a spatial layer of 175 stations that is 147 for level forecasting and 28 for inflow forecasting which shows which also shows the highest flood level and year of the highest flood level warning level and danger levels so uh, there are few categories of flood forecasting stations shown here which records the level which records the inflow to get detail of any uh, forecasting station we can choose we can choose a station we can choose a station and we can try to identify using this get detailed option uh we can see the station which is identified right now is being highlighted here and it is moradabad flood forecasting station and it is in uh, ganga basin and we can see here the water level uh, as 189.6 uh, year of highest flood level which is uh, recorded is 2010 and danger level uh, Uh, uh has been recorded as 190.6 so uh, if you would like to see the temporal data we can uh, choose the year for comparison yeah uh, we can choose the year for comparison and try to get the uh, data so these are some of the information available under uh, hydro observation uh, observatory sites flood forecasting sites then let us go back to our presentation
Next sub info system which we would like to highlight is water quality information system. Some of the parameters considered uh, very important in water quality observation has been recorded and made available uh, in this particular portal. Sub information system and water quality, surface water quality. So we can see here that uh, CPCB uh, and CWC are the main uh, data providers here. CPCB's 906 water quality stations are available for the country. The, these uh, the various parameters observed by observed by this uh, observatory uh, sites are temperature, uh, dissolved oxygen, pH, POD, nitrate, and other biological information. Similarly, uh, CWC has got 425 quality stations out of which 399 are existing right now. So, the parameters which are observed by these states, uh, these sites are available here. We can see the various uh, types. We can see uh, the legend CWC water quality stations are depicted in this star, uh, uh, depicted with this star icons and to see the details we can identify a particular site. We can see the characteristics that is the various parameters being observed by this site, laboratory information and the analysis method which has been carried out to compute these particular parameters, the parameters information uh, analysis and the trends are being depicted here. For example, if we choose dissolved oxygen observed by this particular site during uh, year 2013 to 2014. Based on the data availability, we will be getting the pattern. Let us come to next sub information system, glacial lake information system, where the inventory of the glacial lakes available in our country are depicted. The water spread uh, change is also depicted for the water bodies and the glacial lakes. We can see here the change in the water spread area compared to year 2009. Would like to demonstrate this particular option. We need to choose snow cover or glacier sub information system. can go by size. So the uh, glacial lakes which uh, has the area between 10 to 50 hectare are listed here or we can also choose state wise. Suppose if you are interested in uh, the glacial lakes of Uttarakhand, we can choose uh, the state and see. The water bodies as well as glacial lakes are listed here. To uh, retrieve the information about a particular water uh, body, we can see and the comparative analysis of the water spread uh, area change with respect to year 2009 are depicted here. Similarly, we have got uh, inland navigation waterways information system.
let us uh, let us go to the inland navigation waterways sub information system the various waterways are listed here so uh, the national waterway uh, number 1 um, is being depicted here ganga bharti hugli river system from alagabad to haldia was declared as national uh, waterway number 1 uh, which extends uh, from haldia to alagabad with a distance of 1620 kilometers if we are interested to see the maps we can use this particular option and see the various segments we can see the beacon lighthouse terminal jetty important locations coming up and the charts and other information is also available for ready reference here let us choose the next sub information system hydromet extremes the flood and other uh, disaster related events are made available here one can select the year and accordingly see the details of various disaster for example in 2009 bihar there was a flood occurrence this is 2008 flood map 2009 flood map and 2010 map this information can also be downloaded as a pdf file using this download pdf option so apart from this uh, various sub information system Uh, we have also got a socio economic uh, uh, sub info system let us uh, choose rural socio economic uh, sub info system let us choose a state and the district if we are interested to visualize the village boundaries we can use this our particular option if we are interested in village locations we can use this and we can uh, get the details of this particular village we can see that the complete socio economic data and the uh, census 2011 data is integrated with this information system apart from that we have also got uh, uh, so having seen the various sub information system uh, we can uh, go to the temporal analyst if we are interested to see the ground water level 
the various sites which are considered for sampling and observation is listed here. Uh, suppose we select a particular state. So we are seeing here the seasonal water level graphs, post monsoon rubby water level graph, pre monsoon water level graph, monsoon water level uh, graph and post monsoon water level graph. This can be visualized for various uh, years. So this is for 2005, the comparative analysis can be done using this particular information. Similarly, the water level graphs can be compared with various sites as well as yearly water level graphs are also available. We are seeing um, the four season uh, for a particular uh, year 2005-2006. So uh, the total water level, ground water level uh, information is made available using this temporal analysis. Apart from that, we also have IMD data. IMD data, district wise monthly meteorological data available under this particular information system. Then I uh, would like to show this live telemetry data. So this information uh, system provides the real time information about various observation parameters like water level, rainfall, air temperature, wind speed, etc. Even the download facility has been enabled for this particular uh, uh, data. We are seeing here this system provides 466 telemetry station that are live and the hourly uh, water level data of last 72 hours is displayed for each station. So uh, there are a set of classified uh, sites for which we will not be able to uh, see the data set which can be marked in dark color and we will be able to see the data for non-classified sites. So for the selected site Abu Road, we can see the water level as 254 uh, meter and rain, uh, uh, no rain is recorded and to see the pattern we can use this water level chart if the data uh, is available. Yeah, for this particular uh, Yadgir uh, site, we have for 12th July, the information is available as, on, as of uh, 3 p.m. The water level is 352 uh, meter and we can see the trend. Uh, this is uh, as per uh, 10th July, 12 a.m. It is 352 meter. So, the trend of the water level can be visualized in this manner. And uh, I would like to show a data download option. This needs, uh, this for this the users should be registered user and we can see a disclaimer coming here and uh, select an area which is less than 200 square kilometer for, uh, for uh, getting uh, data sets of bigger area we may have to write to wris.india at gmail.com. So now uh, for downloading the data we need to first choose the area and of course as per our uh, download uh, criteria it should be less than 200 square kilometer. So having decided the area to download, we can also choose the shape files, choose, choose the layers for which we are trying to download. Your selected layers are uh, so and so, would you like to proceed? Yes. So this particular data is extracted and this will be available for you to download as a shape file at your desk. We also have got an automatic map generation module where the maps can be generated dynamically using all this data available. 
we need to uh, specify whether it is a single map or a set of maps which we are calling as map book and we can choose either it is a Bayesian for, uh, wise uh, map generation process or uh, we would like to uh, choose admin, uh, state, uh, administrative unit wise. So here we are choosing hydrological unit wise and uh, suppose we are interested in a basin. Let us choose Krishna Basin and then in the sub basin sub basin uh, let us choose Krishna Lawyer If you are uh, interested to further go down, we can also choose the appropriate watershed under this sub basin. And the various themes which we are interested, uh, yes, various, uh, the theme which we are interested, for example, if we say that we are interested to see the dam locations uh, of this particular watershed of Krishna Basin, we can select that and uh, as per our internet connectivity and our interest, we can choose the quality parameters of the map and whether we would like to have a DM, no, um, overlay, no. Uh, we would um, like to specify that there is no DM requirement and we can mention whether it is A3, landscape, portrait, all these orientations and we can go for the download. This will be available as a PDF at your desk. Similarly, we have also got an advanced report generation uh, module. Apart from the maps, we also uh, can get all the non-spatial tabular data available uh, within this portal using this particular option as a PDF file format. Uh, again, we have provided here hydrological unit wise, administrative wise or a custom unit search wise. Let us go by uh, hydrological unit wise and we can choose a particular basin, uh, sub basin for which we are uh, interested to generate this report. Kaveri basin, Kaveri lower uh, sub basin and the different chapters we are interested in. For example, I say I am interested to just see the hydrological, uh, uh, see the water quality uh, parameters for this particular sub basin and uh, would like to uh, get downloaded it is, uh, as a PDF. And whether I would like to include the maps, no. Uh, annexures, if we are interested in certain annexures which ca contain quite amount of information, we can choose this. And then we can go for uh, uh, generating the reports. We can also see a uh, preface available here. A sample report made for our uh, made available for our uh, ready reference. We can see uh, the table of contents and uh, starting from the basin detail, sub basin details. And most of the information which has been demonstrated right now is uh, made available through this uh, PDF report, which can be dynamically generated uh, by choosing the uh, region we are interested. Apart from this, I would also like to uh, uh, show you something that all this uh, data uh, is converted to web map services and if somebody is interested to integrate uh, with their geo portals, we can always call pull this URLs and integrate uh, with our um, client map viewer. So we can see here for administrative layers, we have uh, provided uh, these kind of uh, the web map service URL like this almost for 57 data sets, the WMS URLs are available. Some of the uh, team members have shared the uh, success stories. Anybody can register, login and share the success stories. Apart from this, there is a set of huge publications available starting from the Basin Reports, Watershed Atlas of India uh, and uh, certain publications which we have made uh, uh, during this entire journey has been available. And uh, a, a small uh, a web application 
mobile uh, mobile application uh, in android platform is made available to map the water resources of the country so with this uh, we would like to uh, conclude uh, this um, india waris demonstration here so we have seen uh, most of the anyway there are much more information available one has to go through uh, and explore the possibilities available in uh, india waris so we have covered background of this particular portal and the urls to reach this portal information discovery metadata and the various data sets information system dynamic reports and the download options so i would like to conclude here saying that you have to dream before your dreams come true so dream dream let us dream start dreaming it now thanks thanks for listening